Hello there guys, a very good evening to you all again. Welcome to another British wine review by myself, The Natural Sommelier. I hope you're all doing okay. Tonight we're going to be heading all the way down to Stratford-upon-Avon. We're going to be tasting an award-winning sparkling wine by a couple uh, called Nicola and Jonathan Kelsey. Okay. And we're going to be heading to a vineyard called Welcome Hill. So today. They've been making wine here for around 18 years now. Okay. I actually tried some of their still wine a short while ago and was really, really impressed with it. It was based on Bacchus uh, and it was just absolutely delicious. It really, really was. So I'm really hoping hoping that the sparkling wine is going to be of similar quality, okay? So, as I say, we're going to be tasting the 2018 of Ophelia. Okay, I hope I pronounced that right. Apologies if I didn't, okay? So this has been made in the traditional method, okay? It's been aged on its leaves for around uh, 12 months um, before being uh, bottled and then released, okay? It is a blend, however, okay? It's a blend of 50% Pinot Noir, 30% Chardonnay, and 20% of a great variety called Otsoar. Otsoar is actually from the Alsace region in northern France, but actually suits our climate perfectly. And if you go down to uh, Champagne in northern France, you'll actually know um, or see even that Otsoar is one of the permitted great varieties used in the production of Champagne, so definitely worth a try, okay? Um, the vineyard that makes this particular wine yeah, it's quite small. Okay, it's a single vineyard, south facing, with mostly clay soil. So I'm expecting this to be a little bit richer uh, and a little bit fuller uh, than most. Okay, this particular wine won a silver medal at the Wine GB um, Awards in 2020 last year, which is extraordinary. And as I say, let's give it a go. I've never tried this before. Um, but I thought it would be fun to give it a go this evening. Okay. Let's just let this open. There we go. Always a good start. Perfect. Let's have a little sniff and see what we think. Lovely colour to it. So as we can see, the colour there is almost like this sort of pale straw um, kind of colour. There's a lot of bubbles uh, coming up through the glass. There's a lot of viscosity in there as well, um, which I quite like. I like my sparkling wines to be quite vibrant and sort of intense, um, personally, each to their own, obviously. Um, but let's have a look at and see what we think. It's quite an interesting um, sort of aroma to it. The Pinot Noir is obviously quite dominant in the wine, and you can definitely get those red fruit characters of, you know, sort of ripe strawberries and maybe some loden berries and perhaps even some um, dark cherries coming through as well. But I'm also picking up that Chardonnay character and the Otsawa character as well. It's very subtle, but it's definitely there. Uh, more on the sort of bruised fruit side, so sort of bruised apples and pears. And <laughs> more suggesting this sort of nectarine-esque peach um, aroma to it as well, which is quite interesting, yeah. It's not exactly a floral wine, and what I mentioned earlier about the um, vineyard sitting on that clay soil, clay actually imparts a little bit of weight into uh, wines when it's made and as a result it can bring structure but it can also bring depth which I personally quite like uh, particularly in my sparkling wines here. However a very very interesting wine. Now I'm breathing it in a little bit more and sort of enjoying those aromas I'm actually getting this slightly sort of turned earth sort of um, or, or, or almost like sort of, sort of mushroom-esque kind of character as well. Well, let's have a little taste. Mm. You know, it's actually quite pleasant. As I said, there's definite weight to it. On the palate, it's a little bit more creamy, a little bit more yeasty. It has that sort of typical brioche-esque aroma to it that I really quite enjoy. I think it's quite interesting. 
but I'm also getting all of those lovely um, s s sort of um, you know sort of stone fruit characters coming through that I smelt on the nose, as well as that slightly bruised orchard fruit as well, which again, as I say, is really really unique and quite interesting. Yeah. Mm. I think it's a really interesting style of English sparkling wine, actually, because it kind of sets itself apart from quite a number of uh, more familiar sort of names out there, which I'm sure you may have heard of. I think that this shows a lot of promise in what the English sparkling wine scene and the English wine scene in general can actually do at the moment. I think there's a lot of progression towards single vineyard styles and actually wine producers creating wines that reflect them as people more than say let's just go down the entire route of doing what everybody else is doing because we have to kind of thing and i think this is actually what they've done so with that in mind you know i think the silver medal is really well deserved for this wine i think it's a lovely wine for what it is um, as i say it's available from their website um, www.welcome um, that's w-e-l-c-o-m-b-e-h-i-l-l-s dot co dot uk um, for 29.99 which I think is very reasonable you know there are some English sparkling wines out there in my view that are a lot more money than this that just aren't that great you know what I mean let's make an English sparkling wine and stick a label on it and sell it and you know it's not really all about that it's about the consistency it's about being able to make something that's truly representative of that part, particular part of the UK. And obviously it's about making something that's representative of the winemakers themselves. Hence the reason why this thing won a silver medal, and quite rightly so. I think it's a brilliant, brilliant thing for them to do. So do I think it's worth it? Yes, I do. Definitely get hold of it, and feel free to check them out, as I say, on their website and on their Instagram, Welcome Hills. Uh, vineyard as well don't forget to check out my uh, personal instagram page the natural sommelier as well and also my website the natural sommelier.com where you'll find lots of new and exciting things going on there over the next few days including my blog some updated videos and some exciting new ideas coming through the pipeline as well okay cheers